Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Ocean Intuitive Tarot and today we're going to take a look at what are you manifesting already in your water element. So some messages from this uh, element and let us see what are you already manifesting in your water element. So we have for group number one what are you already manifesting in your water element? Group number two. What are you already manifesting in your water element? Group number three. Oh my God. <laughs> I saw it. I don't know why. So we are going to take a look now together. So what are you already manifesting in your water element? Let us check. All right, group number one, you have here profound knowledge. Let us see what is all this about, what all of this is wanting you to, to say, want to, is wanting to say to you. So profound knowledge, group number one, Group number two, you have message in a bottle. Lovely. And group number three, you have cleaning. Group number one, profound knowledge. Group number two, message in a bottle from the ocean. And here we have the moon. Group number three, cleaning. And number, th number three, number 15. Number 43. All right. So take the time to choose the one that you feel most strong to, my dears, and let's dive deep. Let's see together what uh, are you manifesting already and what this water element is also wanting you to, to know because it's such an intuitive uh, element and uh, it has always a lot of messages because it's the big mirror, it's the big uh, manifester, all right? Um, so let us check what is there to be, to be manifested to you and we are going to see each other in your readings. Bye! Hi my dears, so we are starting here with this beautiful card that means profound knowledge. Um, I think that you might be meditating on something or um, there is this deep wish of uh, probably starting something new, something that you are going to connect deeply in knowledge, all right? There is also this feeling of you uh, thinking about life, thinking about things that are important for you, things that are very deep and uh, from your lower chakras, from your security, from your, you know, um, how can you bring more of that security into your life, more of that uh, connection with Source. I want to know more and I'm going to take here uh, a few more cards. So messages from, not messages, what are you manifesting here already in your water element? What is being manifested from your water element? So we have here crossroads, all right. So what is being manifested from your water element? element what is already being manifested in your water element 
and we have here all right you know go in cycles a lot of cycles what is being manifested already in my group number one water element between worlds and it's interesting how the message is very consistent here all right so this is talking about uh, crossroads and um, there might be, there may be, maybe there is a lot of confusion. Uh, maybe you are thinking a lot about how to ground yourself and how to follow one path that uh, would be secure, especially a sense of security here and you and for you to expand. There is a lot of these lower chakras and these lower chakras, they involve security. They involve, um, you know, a source is uh, from, is our roots, all right? Is also uh, where you we create from. It's from this security that the tree uh, can be able to grow, right? And um, probably things uh, are stopping or you seeing some blocks and that's because there are some cycles here you are going in cycles um, you are thinking that you are going to achieve this time the path that you want but then you see yourself without really knowing what to do being confused and um, probably people that are around you that they are not uh, very helpful also because they might be a kind of, uh, you know, not helpful in this sense of, of in this new path that you are following. Because it might be that they are very easygoing and they are ready for fun. But now you are in a different position in your life. You want to have more knowledge. It's interesting how this profound knowledge is following you. So probably there is something that... Uh, you might have you may have um, an idea to learn and uh, you want to do that so if you are wanting to do that uh, be aware that you focus be sure that you are focusing on that because you might have some distractions and those distractions uh, they can be more superficial you know uh, and not exactly what you are looking at the moment because you're looking for something uh, very more concrete, more solid in your life. You want to bring that uh, those solid foundations. You want to build something for you. And what you're seeing is that you're, you know, this, this growing that you were doing is like cycles. You are kind of... So there is here a message, something to learn. And this might be because your water element is manifesting from a point of indecision. It's manifesting from a point of you wanting something, but at the same time uh, kind of being interested in something else, probably something more, uh, let, let me call it like... Uh, you know, things, for example, your friends invite you to a party, but you have, um, maybe you you could be uh, uh, applying to this new thing that you want to learn, you know, and you go party and this new thing that you want to learn that would be this consistency, this, uh, this ground that you want to create, um, it's not you for the universe the message is that is not that important so there is here a feeling of you going round and round and that is because there is this mix energies uh, coming out from you so your water element is saying uh, there are a lot of mixed energies that you are creating and manifesting from right and because of this, also uh, what is going to happen is that you will have this in your life and you are going to have this inconsistency also uh, in your life, all right? 
I want to explore this more. What is this about, this between worlds about? And I'm going to take another oracle here to see what is this about, this between worlds, for my group number one. What is this between worlds that is being manifested here? All right. It seems that you are manifesting this inconsistency because um, the purpose is for you to really understand what you love. So it's like there is a side of you that is not, is not really who you are. There is a side that is being manifested, sorry. There is a, a side that is being manifested that is not really who you are. And uh, the, point of, the point of this constra contrast in your life is so that you are really aware of what you li li love. Because it seems that you, you kind of feel, should I do this? Should I do that? You, you know, you need to, there is a need to be sure. And because you're not really sure, life, you are kind of in, in this energy between worlds. Life is sending you uh, also these mixed signs uh, and these mixed manifestations so that you understand this is the side that is not me, you know. This is something that is not me, but this is something that I love, is something that has to do with me. And life and the uh, water element is manifesting this contrast so that you, through the mercury, um, you know, mercury, which is air element, you can really bring to conscious um, what you really love, who you really are, all right? But water, water is sending you this, probably these contrasts, so that you can be really aware of what you love. Really, really aware. Because by contrast, you will understand what is not for you. You will understand what is not a part of uh, what you want to create in life. So be aware, because the sooner you recognize when something is not for you, the better because you are going to be pursuing what um, what is part of your essence and you are going to feel much rooted and this energy of this contrast um, if you manifest from a point of security without doubts uh, also in in the form all right when it becomes form when uh, water manifests, manifests um, can manifest also with more security. If you are confused, that confusion will be shown. If you are secure, that security will be shown. All right. So I want to take here from Tarot and see what's going on here. So what? is my group number one manifesting from their um, water element. What is my group number one? Let me shuffle a bit more because I want to change the position of cards if is needed. So what is being manifested for my group number one? What is being manifested from their water element for my group number one? So what is being manifested for my group number one? Here we have one card. What is being manifested for my dear group number one? We have two cards. What is being manifested for my dear group number one? We have three and let's go four. What is being manifested for my group number one? All right, this one. So we have 
the world in reverse we have nine of earth all right we have eight of fire and we have eight of water in reverse eight of cups in reverse All right, so um, right now we can see already that uh, we have here certainly inconsistency because we have the world um, in reverse here. Uh, sorry, this is three of water, three of water. It, we have the world in reverse here, meaning probably you're not expanding as you would like, all right? Uh, in every areas of your life. It can be that you are having a lot of success here in with your pentacles um, or you know something is being fruitful here but um, there is more expansion here to 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 do in your life to make in your life it might be also with contacting others or being with others or um, celebrating with others all right that's possible because maybe your creativity um you maybe these these pentacles somehow uh, are not allowing you to expand your creativity are not allowing to ride here in the wings of of change uh, are kind of stopping you here, um, a travel, uh, a new travel that you could do, all right? So maybe this manifestate, maybe you're pro uh, you can be putting a lot of uh, energy uh, into your money, all right? And enjoying that enjoying your money but at the same time blocking here uh it's like you're going in cycles like we saw before we you are going in cycles and you're blocking probably a new way you know something new a new adventure and in that new adventure could be a soul tribe all right a new soul tribes people that would be um, better or would be following uh, with you this path, this new path, all right, of uh, deep knowledge that the water element is wanting you to, to have. Because don't forget, water element is manifesting here your inner truth, the purpose of this mix because you're because there is some confusion here because you're not really grounded yet in your purpose in your objectives what is happening is that you, that is being manifested all right in in your world in the world of forms is being manifested but the purpose of that is for you to recognize what is something that is it doesn't have to do how can I say this? Something that is not part of your inner truth and recognize what it is part of your inner truth. All right. And open here a new window. And that new window can be this escape for uh, celebrating more your life with others. Mm -hmm. um, so there is here a big uh, lesson lesson coming coming and i believe this lesson is for you to understand how much you could expand you could expand even more because there are cycles here being repeated and the world uh, has so much more to offer right this universe or this multiverse um that is part of the universe i find it 
wonderful this idea of multiverse but of course it's also part of this universe because this this is different ways of living uh, a reality is like infinite pos possibilities potentialities of oneself this is a theory from the 60s from physics quantum physics I believe the 60s is one of the most interesting theories and actually one that could uh, really explain some doubts of uh, quantic, quantic physics. So it's on the table, it's, it's uh, on top of the table for people to discuss. This is being discussed by uh, scientists, the multiverse, because, and the idea is that there are, you know, I'm here right now talking with you and at the same time there might be you know infinite possibilities of me doing something else so it's like you exist already doing uh, something else it's interesting isn't it um, but here in this this universe let's say here where you are water is manifesting this contrast so that you can really uh, see uh, what you really love, what is part of your inner self that you can create here in life and open yourself more to others because there is more to life there is more to life than uh, just a career for example All right. so what is water element manifesting for my dear group number one interesting maybe this so what came out was ask a friend maybe if you talk to a friend uh, your friend would be um, you know uh, someone that would tell you probably is, would talk about you or kind of uh, would make you realize this cycle that you are having all right this cycle that you repeat that is not allowing you to expand so what is being manifested or you are manifesting uh, a friend that you can talk with and that's why yes that's why you are here these cycles that you are going are not allowing also you to open up to a com community and it might be that uh, you are going to be manifesting uh, this probably soul tribe, kinder spirit, all right, so that you can talk uh, more about. So you have this contrast, you're manifesting a contrast here. So be aware that you focus on uh, the right path, on that one that has to do with you. So what is being manifested? for my group number one. All right, this is also talking about uh, when you're not controlling what is happening. And we are seeing here that you are between, between worlds. So between worlds uh, is already you not really knowing uh, the way that you need to go here, all right? So when you're not... Um, controlling what is happening you can uh, control how you react this is the the message and it's interesting because imagine this situation life is offering two path two paths of course and you are confused about it you you really you kind of have mixed feeling in reality you can tap into your intuition and you are going to notice when you have that feeling about something of ease and um, you know and something that is not creating uh, anxiety inside of you is not creating uh, a feeling of um, you know wanting to do something to just because um, I don't know you want to grab someone's attention something in these terms all right but there is, a, there is another feeling that is a feeling of ease and everything is being manifested the way you are. So 
the way you you want all right so when everything is manifesting be and you are secure in it uh, you have a certain ease inside of you there is a certain peace inside of you in the other side uh, you might feel anxiety and you might feel something is wrong, uh, you know. So you always have your intuition. And here the message is, if you're not controlling what is happening, because you might be presented with two opposed situations, for example, you can control how you react. And there you're going to find your power. Because it's how you react and life sending you this uh, mix signs for you to to find at the 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 truth the good in truth meaning uh is from the way you can tap into your intuition to know how to react to understand what are you really feeling there what where is your action towards something coming from all right this is uh, your truth is there and then you, how you react is going to tell the universe also uh, what you want to manifest in your life all right so this is basically a message for you to learn how to try to tap into your truth into your inner truth so yes so let me know in the comments if you enjoyed these messages from your water element and we are going to see each other next readings bye hi my dear group number two so we have here messages from your water element what are you manifesting from your water element so first of all we have here message message in the bottle so it's a kind of confirming that you should be here because uh, there is something here that you need to know. Now, and this might come from your subconscious. For some of you, this can have, this might have to do, this may have to do with uh, birth, giving birth. Now, this can be really giving birth to someone, of course, uh, being pregnant or wanting to to be pregnant, wanting to have a child. And this can also be about you giving birth to a project, to an idea, to something that you were always wishing, all right? There is something here that you always wish that is wanting, is like it's saying, hi, I'm here, remember me, all right? And is wanting to be manifested. And, um, the air element is wanting to come to the air element, which is the one that uh, really brings from this part of intuition uh, and brings from form already uh, to the to the sun energy that is the one that has conscious about, you know, has this other side of conscious, which is things that are uh, coming from um, a point of being realized, all right? Being realized. So being realized with other senses because we can tap into, the, into this water element because you can tap into, into this water element by your intuition, by trusting in your path, but by really being firm in what you want in the vibrations that you want to manifest in your life and that is a kind of knowing but is a, a inner knowing and the sun energy sorry about my cat he's here and uh he is very communicative as you can see um but there is another part of uh the life process that is the part that comes into this um realizing from another part all right from the part of um of forms, let's say, from the part of be, being conscious uh, of um, the, the full process uh, in a different way. So there is this intuition and there is this knowing probably um, from air that is more rational and when sun 
element, the fire element really understands is when it's, it's completely mirrored back uh, from water and this marriage is actually the marriage of the heart is when heart can really be felt and seen by the sun as the ultimate truth. So, uh, of course, you always have two ways of doing this, and it's or you follow your intuition and you are feeling it, or uh, you and you trust that uh, because you feel it, yes? Or, um, of course, uh, then uh, sun is always after the full process is going also to be realizing that that is the ultimate truth, right? But here, uh, in your message, I'm seeing there is an old dream. There, was, there is something here that you always wanted to manifest that is now coming more uh, evident. It's now coming more evident uh, in you. So let us see here. There is really something that is wanting to come uh, into your perception uh, and become more evident. So coming from this, this, you know, water is manifesting this because probably you, you are also tapping more um, into this old wish that you are having. So let us see more about this. What is water element uh, showing my group, manifesting my group number two to my group number two? What is water element manifesting to my group number two? All right, let us see what do we have here. We have divine feminine energy, beautiful. Yeah, for some of you, this is about uh, becoming a mother, all right? This is a possibility uh, that this is being uh, manifested. There is here an egg too, all right? Interesting, new cycle. Wow. So for those of you that are wanting to become mothers this is something that is being manifested and is like a wish coming true all right for those that uh, so this could be the manifestation here all right for those that are not thinking about that um, now this can be also wakening up your beautiful divine feminine energy and with that learning how to flow with life so there is here a message of learning how to flow with life because this is what is going to bring you the treasure that you want. Water is forever flowing and it's forever flowing because it's always transforming and adapting with the manifestation, with the current energies, with, with what is always transforming and adapting with uh, how other elements are uh, seeing it, right? Are are absorb? Are how can I say this? Yes, it's like seeing it, all right? How other elements are receiving the message of this water, all right? And uh, adapting and uh, kind of transform with the different perspectives of the elements, all right? So water, when enters uh, Earth, is uh, in a certain way, where when uh, air, um, when, when mixes with air in another way, when comes near fire, transforms in another way. So it's always being transformed uh, by the elements because it's forever flowing and, um, so water is really very, very powerful. And uh, water also has this, this deep knowledge and deep, so this profound space of creation that um, can be representative of our subconscious that is very hard to penetrate and it's very hard, hard to go there. 
and it's the same in the world that we live. Water has a space of creation that is very difficult to go there, even know what is happening over there, because, <clears throat> you know, you really have to have sophisticated uh, and um, sophisticated machines to go there and this i believe there are parts that are very very difficult it's mo almost important uh, impossible and um, is the same uh, with our minds uh, we have a space for creation that is kind of full potentiality and that space no other element can penetrate no earth that is much more superficial not uh, air that is even more superficial and not uh, even not light because it's full potentiality all right now what is happening here is that you are really tapping into this divine feminine and uh, this divine feminine accepts the mystery accepts mystery because mystery is what makes uh, the part our divine masculine part wanting to know more right imagine this air element wanting to know more about the mystery this profound that holds our manifestations so mystery is part of a divine feminine and unfortunately it was not um, you know fully accepted in our society due to our um, ignorance let's say but water is uh, is waiting to be accepted inside all of us because it's full potentiality and we need potentiality for existence we cannot live without this full potentiality so when once we accept that mystery inside of us we are connecting deeply with our divine feminine and we become flexible we become flexible because we trust the process of manifestation we trust that we can manifest our fears, it's true, but we can also uh, change our minds in order to manifest the happiness that we want in life. Divine Feminine <clears throat> understands uh, that that full potentiality is there ready to be um, created uh, but is, is being created by our feelings, by what we feel. Uh, if we are feeling doubts, you know, that potentiality creates those doubts. So we need to be careful with, we need to learn how to trust more. And this is the full power of Divine Feminine. Um, when you truly can understand this beautiful power of Divine Feminine, you become the master of your life, all right? It's not a coincidence that uh, by Christian, for Christian uh, religions, uh, the fish was the symbol. And that's because when you truly understand the power of water and uh, how much you can put your faith uh, into creations and surrendering yourself into creation and understanding that uh, you are always manifesting from that uh, you know depth inside of you for your that deep uh, space inside of you when you do that you can become more aware of your manifestations and what you want to create in your life and this is a difficult process all right this is not easy at all um but it, well, at least we, we can know and try to do our best. So there is here you understanding more about your water element and you, um, you know, really respecting and um, really fell, falling in love with this water element. And because of that, life is going to bring back the treasure that you are also feeling inside of you because it's a lot about feeling because it's a lot about the law of attraction and everything is connected and uh, if you if you uh if you believe uh, and if you even know the christian uh, story the story of jesus christ you do understand of how much 
of the law of attraction uh, is there, all right? Of the information um, of law of attraction was there. It's not something recent. It's something that always have been uh, out there, the information. And Jesus Christ uh, talked a lot about that, all right? So, um, once you understand that if what you are feeling, how you are feeling, uh, will be created in the world, you really tap into your manifestation uh, and you can create whatever you want. And here, uh, you, your water element is telling you something really beautiful is about to come into your life. Let me see if I know more about this. Can I have some clarifying here? Oh my God! How beautiful is this, my dears? So, who are you? That's my first question. We have here divine marriage. We have yin and we have yang. And um, this can be you manifesting your counterpart also, all right? There is something really precious that you are going to be uh, manifesting. Um, this can also be representative of a more balanced life and uh, of course when you join these two together you have fruits when you can work with these two elements uh, inside of you because we all have yin and yang inside when you balance these out you also manifest outside all right so if you um, balance and know how to use the best of these two energies inside of you, you manifest outside of you, of course, because everything is agreeing, everything is agreeing. So you might be manifesting love here and or a deep, or this can be a connection that will have uh, a lot of fruits, will bring fruits or a balance inside of you, a divine balance inside of you, a divine marriage inside of you, which is going to manifest anyway in your life. Because as above, so below, as uh, outside, so within. So what is being manifested from water element of my group number two? What is being manifested in my group number two? Water element. What is being manifested in my group number two, water element? So what's being manifested from my group number two, water element? What is being manifested in my group number two, water element? Let us check. What do we have here? Patience. Now, patience is very interesting because earth element is all about patience. Earth element is all about knowing the time for things. And this is, you know, earth element is a lot about divine feminine, which is the first uh, manifestation we saw here. So understanding the power of... Uh, Patience, the power of time, the power of accepting our cycles, because we know, and especially the fine feminines inside all of us know that everything needs time. All right, everything needs time to be birth. Everything needs time to come to life, and when something. Um, you know, is interrupted before the time or is uh, before time, we know that not great things are going to come out of that, all right? Because th things, they need the perfect time. And uh, Divine Feminine know that, knows that. And when Divine Feminine knows that, accepts much more things and especially accepts herself and accepts her time, is divine feminine that has the sense of time, all right? Let me just explain you this. 
air element from divine masculine inside of us is rushing is wanting to know everything is kind of going everywhere is wanting to take seats from one point to another is not really caring about time is wanting to be everywhere at the same time if is needed all right and what is air element air element is um from we are all all of us are living uh, nowadays, for example, is information, is uh, social media, and is everywhere, isn't it? It's everywhere and is rushing. And is if this air element do not find a strong earth element that is telling you no, is not the time, right? No, is not the time. This needs time to grow this is needs time to be protected this needs time to be built now is not the time and who says that is our divine feminine inside all of us and that air element needs that really needs that because if he has the chance he's going to take uh things before the time but when he takes things before time there we have a problem there it's not going, things that are taken before time, they are not going to have uh, fruits from it, isn't it? So when you're really strong in your intuition and know your cycles and respect your cycles, air elements are going just to take the information when it's ready, all right? It's going to take uh, when it's ready. And... Um, so our divine feminine needs to be strong and we are losing that unfortunately nowadays uh, all right with the world that we are living because why because for uh, centuries uh, people didn't accept the divine feminine inside all of us and because of that lack of acceptance and even discrimination as we all know the world became unbalanced there there needs to be we need to have or return to a space where divine feminine is uh how can i say is being manifested as and being loved inside all of us as so much and so important as the divine feminine they need to match in importance they need to match in love because they both are so important to existence when we live in this uh, most divine masculine form we have a problem and I'm always saying this in my channel we have a problem because then we have things that are not prepared coming out we are going to have a lot of confusion we are not being going to be grounded um, sun energy fire energy is not being reflected is ignoring completely the divine feminine meaning is not seeing themselves so ego boosts a lot of ego and not a lot of narcissism over there because they are not being uh, recognizing the reflector the big reflector the reflection itself so there is a lack in knowledge for a long time there is there is this part that we ignore and we don't have give importance to but it's not we cannot do that right we cannot do that anymore because it's so important so here you are tapping into this energy of divine feminine and respecting your cycles this uh, respecting cycles of things and respecting time respecting your earth energy which is so much connected also with your in and my dears this is so good i don't know you i'm telling you who are you my dears the empress queen of water the chariot this is just beautiful this is just beautiful and i believe that people that chose this pile you are going to be uh, having um, a very important paper here because once you have because you have so much knowledge here. This is what I'm saying. This is integration. This is the Empress knows about this completely. Empress knows about what I'm explaining and knows how much she she is important to existence. All right. Um, she knows about the importance also of the divine masculine. 
she has integrated this uh, inside of that of her that's why she can um, uh, manifest the divine masculine because inside of her she has these two sides completely grounded and you two are manifest can you see yin yang and then the empress mm -hmm. and here queen of water you being completely uh, conscious about this trust that you need to have in um, in your manifestation this trust that uh, things are going to be uh, by your side you know are going trusting that things are going to be there for you what you are going to manifest you have the chariots please this is just amazing amazing energy here things that you are going to be manifested you are trusting your manifestation and you are uh, becoming the empress. And empress has the, the, the divine mess, uh, marriage inside of her. Empress knows about this, uh, the importance of the divine marriage inside of us. All right, so my dears, it couldn't be better. And I'm really happy for you. Sorry, I really want to take here one, don't go away yet. I really want to take here an advice for you. I'm curious because I took for for another pile and I want to take it for you too. So an advice here, uh, what actually not advice, what's being manifested for uh, my group number two? Oh my God, what is this? This is so interesting. We have all the, the phases of the moon. We have divine feminine here in force. And this is a ritual of the full moon. And it talks about all wishes becoming true. You have something here really special coming into your life. Yeah, really, really special, my dears. Your divine feminine is more and more grounded in yourself. All right? That's beautiful. And um, yeah, this is what I have for you, my loves. And we are going to see each other next readings. Bye. Hi, my group number three. Welcome. So let us check what is being manifested here in your water element so what is being manifested in your water element let us check now first of all already having here a feeling of you cleaning things of course that uh, don't connect with you anymore right it might be that you are following a new path in your life a new cycle wanting to be here more grounded, wanting to manifest your uh, divine counterpart or even um, with your divine counterpart, if you're already having this person in your life. Um, let me see more. There's probably new agreements, uh, things that you are wanting to have together, um, having more fun together. Let me see more. What is being manifested here in my water element? Group number three, water element. What is being manifested in my group number three, water element? Let us see. All right, more, uh, you know, something about uh, following a new path for a more balanced life. You want to have a more balanced life. So there is an element here of you manifesting here more space to breathe in your life. Um, if, you're, um, if you have a family, it might be that you choose to, following, to follow certain rules, certain traditions, that you always saw happening in your life and you know that you it works and uh, you choose a more balanced life there is here you wanting to clean old energies things that they don't serve you anymore if you don't have a family this is cleaning things you know in your life things that don't serve you remember you can start um, 
you know how alchemists they they work the elements and it's because this law of what is above so below really works meaning that everything that is below can be manifested in another sphere of conscious so of consciousness so what happens is that when you start cleaning your house for example your house is is representing a part in your consciousness is part of your consciousness and if you start cleaning around in your house in your uh, your room in your you know this will be manifested this you are also changing something in your uh, manifestation you are also changing something in the exterior you're also changing something inside of you all of the spheres of consciousness are being transformed so they are always mirroring uh, each other you know so your water element is manifesting here because of contrast because perhaps before you understood something was uh, chaotic in your life right now you're manifesting this cleaning you're manifesting this organizing following something a structure that you know that uh, it works you have here number 11 number 11 is also a number of visionary all right it can be that you are having a vision for yourself you're having a vision for your future and this vision that is entering your life is being manifest is something much more fair is something more, much more balanced you are knowing what you want you are knowing what you don't want and this will be allowing you to breathe breathe and um interesting because here we have number 11 again it's a number of visionary be aware because you might have re been receiving some messages through dreams um all right you, maybe you can tap into dreams uh easily yeah you, you might have also a message there or dreams are bringing you something for you to be aware of that you need to clean in your life uh, this could be feeling an old feeling of insecurity, of uh, chaos, something, a wound from the past that you n really need to let it go, all right? It's like cleaning, cleaning around, cleaning your space, cleaning your mind. Um, it's very difficult to let go, uh, you know, some parts of us that are really hurt and uh, it's easy to go there when we are being frustrated, when our lives are... Uh, are difficult and we are always you know going there going to their pain but we need to be aware that when we do that uh, we are also manifesting because the feeling is so strong uh, that we are putting in our manifestation that but here what I believe you that you were doing is that you are putting into this um, manifestation uh, you know form let's say uh, this new organization you following certain traditions or even you following this vision that you are having all right this vision that you are having for life this can bring you closer to your counterpart your divine counterpart because uh, if you're not if it's not the first case that I said here you having a family and you decided that you need to balance things in another way following certain traditions if this is about you being single it can be also that you're manifesting your counterpart uh, you are because uh when this is inside of you um you being more balanced you um you know following your vision you following follow following your um inner truth uh it's normal that you are going to be manifesting your counterpart because this is the the journey of counterparts is manifesting their personal truth number 11 is like two independent souls two independent beings coming together right so let us see more what are you what is your water element manifesting what is your water element bringing into manifestation what is your ele water element bringing into manifestation what is your water element bringing into manifestation wow yeah there is there is for sure some emotions here all right probably 
if you're not married yet this can be a new connection coming in a new uh, potentiality for love again i saw this twice now right so really and it's the ace of water so for sure there is here potentiality for a connection uh, for this probably this counterpart because we've been talking about that. So let me see more what is being manifested in my uh, group number three water element. What is being manifested in my group number three water element? What is being manifested in my group number three water element? What is being manifested in my group number three water element? One more, what is being manifested in my group number three, what um, All right, let us check what we have here. So we have the hangman in reverse, two of air, mm -hmm. interesting. You have two of earth. We have justice. Yeah, again, you know, number 11 here, Again, this sense of number 11, which comes out to... Number 11 is never coming out to a 2, but um, because it's always two individuals, all right? But here we have number 2, number 2. Now, what am I saying and what am I seeing here? Here it goes again the the topic of balancing two things it might be that you have two things that uh need balance in your life and you are accessing through a vision to that um possibility you are accessing this is something that might be disturbing you also might be giving you some feelings of being uncertain and you have balance, you have the justice twice, my dears. This is number 11 again. Number 11, number 11, number 11. So a lot of karmic, because the justice is a is also very karmic here. And um, number 11 is also about the divine counterpart. It might be that life is telling you that you need to balance more different areas of your life maybe you were t you're holding on to just one area of your life and i want to know which area is this which area is this because this area might be not even giving the fruits that you need right uh, this can be even you holding on too much to your career uh, be, but whatever it is um, is not even giving you the fruits that you need why because when you start blocking energy um, it will kind of you know when you have a problem in your house and it's a very small problem and you know that if you called someone to fix it it will be quick and nothing would would matter mm. Nothing would be more serious, but you don't do it. And because you don't do it, then the bigger, uh, the problem starts being b bigger and probably it goes to other rooms and it goes to, you know, it becomes huge and uh, affects all areas of the house. Now, this is it. This is you focusing too much on something, not having the full picture here in your life. But at the same time, that's something not giving you the fruits that it should be uh, bringing because there are some blockages going on. You might have also some problems here uh, in this uh, area and you, might, you may be with some challengings. You may be with some challengings here uh, that you need to clean. There are some energies probably of a conflict here that they need to to go all right um because it's a matter it's a matter of balancing more uh than one area in your life uh that that is really needed here 
balancing more one area of your life more than one area of your life yeah because there here it goes there is a certain block here there is a decision that needs to come into consciousness and it's a decision of balancing your life look balance here two birds here one that seems too much higher than the other that's why there is a block here you're just looking at one area but soon you're going to be learning how to balance and this is what you're manifesting you're manifesting uh, this balance back to your life right and you have here even the the scales look at this the scales and you know perfectly what you need to remove look the sword here what you need to remove from your life you becoming more one you becoming more aware how as an individual a complete individual you can also manifest your counterpart but you need to find the balance inside your view all right uh, divine counterpart enters your life when they are also feeling complete inside of them so two complete beings that they come together and finding balance in themselves being complete completely aware of all areas of their lives and what needs to to be in balance you might be too focused on one area of your life i believe is your um pentacles your money and uh there are other areas are also asking you for uh for some attention here all right and you are bringing that you are learning how to breathe maybe you were uh in a even toxic um ambience here in your work because then it's not working it's not work you're doing you know you're giving a lot of energy to something that it seems blocked because um inside of you there are parts of you that are blocked too so things are not flowing and also it seems there are some toxicity here happening that uh needs to go away all right because unbalance what is toxicity toxicity is imbalance it's something that is not balanced it's coming out from fear um so it seems that it needs to go away you have a vision now and it's a vision of balance it's a vision of number 11 11 all right number 11 is two full beings coming together in full in imbalance and to help humanity all right to help humanity because it's when they have this full knowledge about life and the lessons that they learned all right that really brought them this uh, full being uh what is my group number three manifesting here all right it's telling us that your next step is uh fundamental and it's very interesting here it comes again an energy of of two can you see how they they are together and at the same time they are separate beings how they are visionary here my dears you are having a vision you are having a vision for your future and this is a message for you to trust in it because it's, it will be fundamental to manifest the life and the wish that you want and the wishes that you always wanted all right my dears so this is what I have for you. Let me know in the comments if this resonated and we are going to see each other next readings. Bye.